there are three basic states of matter and these are diagrams showing each of the states and uh, we have to match the correct description to each diagram. So to start off with this is a diagram of a solid. The forces of attraction between the particles are very strong and those particles vibrate they vibrate about a fixed position. If you heat it up, that vib those vibrations increase, uh, increasing the space between the molecules and the whole thing expands. But they're generally stuck in position, just vibrating. So they have a regular pattern, a regular pattern for most materials, most solids, and they are very close together, these particles. Close together and that means that they have a fixed volume fixed volume and a fixed shape going on to the second state of matter this is a liquid let's change the color let's have a uh, sort of a ready color this is a liquid now liquids slide around each other the particles slide around each other. They do that randomly. Uh, they're, they're randomly arranged. Randomly arranged. And they are actually still very close together. Close together. So it's actually quite hard to compress a liquid. Uh, if you get yourself a bottle of water and try and squeeze it, you'll find it's actually quite difficult to squeeze, to try and squeeze its volume into a smaller volume. You always get a bulge popping out somewhere. Liquids have a fixed volume, as the same as as solids, but they can shape change. Their shape changes depending what container they're in. So the shape changes to fit the container. What about gases? That must be the last one. Gases. Well, gases are moving quickly in random directions. So move quickly. They're not vibrating. They're moving. They're actually uh, zooming about, moving quickly in random directions, random directions. They collide with each other and the walls of their container. They are randomly arranged, randomly arranged. They are relatively far apart, these particles. And that means that the intermolecular forces between the atoms and molecules is very, very weak. There's hardly any forces between the particles. The volume of a gas can change. It can change. Whichever container you put a gas in, it will fill that container. And so the volume will, will change depending on how big a container you have. And so, like liquids, they are shape changes. So, their shape changes to fit the container. And so, there we have a summary of the three basic states of matter. And make sure that you can describe each of these states as we have done today.